viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumia TV. Nursat Jordan Office, represented by its director and the team, is pleased to extend their warmest wishes to His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Al Hussein, on his 28th birthday, wishing him continued health. Now let's start with the headlines. Patriarch of the Holy City receives a group of pilgrims from Jordan. Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella visits Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza. Monk Salwan Hanouni, an evangelical deacon on the altar of the Lord. We also have 10,000 Nigerians are expected to perform the Christian pilgrimage this year in the Holy Land. Welcome back. The Patriarch of the Holy City and other works of Palestine and Jordan, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, received at the Patriarchate House in Jerusalem a group of pilgrims from Jordan, led by Jerusalem Archmandrite Anthasius Qaqish, spiritual head of Zarqa City, and the economist Grasmesius Tashman, pastor of the Church of the Divine Ascension in Khalda. During their visit to the Holy Land on a trip organized by the Greek Orthodox Diocese of Amman in cooperation with the spiritual presidency of Zarqa, Jordanian pilgrims visited the St. Peter's Chain Church in Jaffa and St. George's Tomb in Lod, as well as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Path of the Pain, the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, and other holy places. The Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Pierre Battista Pizzabella, led a delegation of Latin bishops, visited the Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza and was received by the hospital's commander, Colonel Sadiq Bani Nasser, and several medical and nursing staff. In a speech, His Excellency said, We are making this visit in order to show the world that the Jordanian hospital provides great humanitarian and medical support to the people of the Gaza Strip. For his part, Colonel Bani Nasser reviewed the efforts and services provided by the hospital since the beginning of his work in the sector in 2009 and until now, expressing his thanks and appreciation to the Patriarch and the accompanying delegation for this visit. For his part, Patriarch Pizzabella sent a message of love and peace to His Majesty King Abdullah II and to the Jordanian people for their continued support to the brothers in Gaza and their stand with them in various difficult circumstances. During the Divine Mass presided over by Bishop Christophorus Atalla, Bishop of Jordan of the Greek Orthodox Church, the Orthodox monk Silwan Hanouna became a new evangelical deacon in the Church of the Master's entry into the temple in Swafiye, Amman, and His Excellency addressed the new deacon saying, The love of the Heavenly Father invites you to enter the Holy Mass to serve as a deacon in the Church, and remember to be humble and faithful servant of Christ and the Church and to take care of your daily prayers and to learn the liturgical services in preparation for priestly service. In conclusion, the bishop congratulated the new deacon and his family for this great grace. The third and final meeting of the 14th session of the Two Rings on the Rock of the Lord, for those who are about to get married, was completed in the hall of the Cathedral of the Gospel in Amman, in the presence of economist Irenaeus Mindanat, the official of the Christian Family Home and social worker Samaritadros, with the participation of more than 100 young engaged men and women, where their lecture was entitled Physical Relationship in Marriage, in which Dr. Bashar Qsus talked about genetic diseases, fertility diseases, and genetically transmitted diseases diseases, stressing the importance of subjecting the speech to premarital examination. Social worker Samar Tadros also provided practical and scientific advice for a successful and happy marriage. The meeting was concluded with a spiritual talk of Father Irenaeus, explaining the meaning of putting the crowns on the heads of the newlyweds and other symbols of the holy wreath. At the end of the session, the economist distributed certificates of participation to the couples, wishing them a good and blessed life. Caritas Jordan and the Royal Society for Health Awareness have signed a cooperation agreement aimed at alleviating diseases for refugees in the kingdom and the communities most in need. Signed by the Director General of the Royal Society Dima Jwehan and Director General of Caritas Jordan Wael Suleiman. This agreement comes with the framework of the project partners for the humanitarian response to non-infectious diseases. The project will be implemented in Caritas clinics distributed throughout the kingdom. Activities include awareness sessions and consultations for the medical team and health and guidance campaigns. The General Authority of Latin Patriarchate Scouts and Guides in Jordan set up a camp for the Shura Council at the Lady of Peace Center at Airport Road, where a group of leaders and scout guidance groups from different Latin groups from all over the kingdom participated in this activity. The Center received this event, which invited the Scout leaders to provide gratitude to the Center of Our Lady of Peace and all those in charge. The Scouts of the Latin Patriarchate are the pastoral arm to many parishes of the local church in terms of service and activity. 
The Committee of Nigerian Christian Pilgrims said that 10,000 Nigerians are expected to perform the Christian pilgrimage this year in the Holy Land of Jordan and Palestine. The executive secretary of the committee said during a ceremony to receive 365 Nigerians returning from Jordan to their country that the committee has so far sorted 4,000 Nigerians who want to perform the Christian pilgrimage this year. He revealed that the last group of pilgrims expressed their satisfaction during their pilgrimage, especially to the baptism site and other Christian pilgrimage places, where they returned with a great impression of their journey to the Holy Lands of Jordan and Palestine. During his visit to the kingdom, His Beatitude, the Patriarch of the Chaldeans in Iraq and the world, will preside over the ceremonial mass held by the Chaldean Patriarchate in Jordan on the occasion of the promotion of Father Zaid Hababa to the rank of bishop. And during his visit to the kingdom, his beatitude will lay the foundation stone for the new Chaldean church in Amman and sponsor the celebration of the first communion of a number of sons and daughters of the Chaldean parish in Jordan. In another context, Patriarch Raphael Sacco, Patriarch of the Chaldean Church in Iraq, presided over the Holy Mass of the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Patriarch began the Mass by inviting believers to pray for the Sisters of the Sacred Heart, for the Lord to bless them in order for their lives to be a living image and a true testimony to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Fountain of Love and Mercy. His Beatitude also asked to pray for Iraq and for peace in the world, and said that everything is ephemeral, except for living under the lights of the Sacred Heart. We must be honest and jealous Christians and prove the sincerity of our faith. Several bishops, priests and deacons participated in the Mass and a large gathering of believers. Examinations for the General Secondary School Certificate began last Thursday in all schools in the Kingdom, with a participation of about 204,183 male and female students. The Ministry had completed all its preparations to hold the exam with full readiness, as it provided the participants' needs of drinking water and guidance panels and provided all the requirements that ensure the participants' progress in an appropriate exam environment with ease. With great sadness and sorrow, the Regional Office of Nursat Satellite in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director, Dr. Basim Sam'an and the team, mourns the victims of the poisonous gas leak accident in the port of Aqaba. We also extend our deepest condolences to our people in Aqaba and to our good Jordanian people, asking God to bless the victims with mercy and to grant a speedy recovery to the injured. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Patriarch of the Holy City receives a group of pilgrims from Jordan. Patriarch Pierre Batista Pizzabella visits Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza. Monk Salwan Hanouni, an evangelical deacon on the altar of the Lord. 10,000 Nigerians are expected to perform the Christian pilgrimage this year in the Holy Land. For more information, please visit our website www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again. Have a good day.